Join Jan Jones and Michael Stanley tonight at 7.30 on TV8. Now, Tim Taylor, Robin Swoboda, Casey Coleman on sports, and Dick Goddard with weather. This is Cleveland's own News Center 8. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Here's what's happening. A near disaster on I-271 in Beechwood today as a small plane crashes and explodes only a few feet from the busy highway. The single-engine Grumman Tiger was trying to make an emergency landing after it apparently suffered engine failure. Only one person was on board, the pilot, who was seriously burned. No one on the ground was hurt. New Center Rights Dick Ross was on the scene shortly after the plane went down. Dick joins us live now from Beechwood. Dick what we understand is the pilot just missed those cars on busy 271. Yeah, well, you can see the nose of the plane right up against the guardrail, and by that you can tell how dangerously close that this plane came to actually crashing onto busy I-271 southbound. We're here in Beechwood about uh, a quarter mile south of the Cedar Road, Brainerd Road exit in the southbound lanes. The crash happened at about three o'clock this afternoon and for the many people who witnessed it, they say it's something they will never forget. I just seen, I just seen a man, heard a man hollering. Uh, next thing you know, I just heard a big boom and the flame just, just rose up. I seen this was, this was scary, man, you know. You can understand why witnesses to this crash would be frightened when you see how nearly complete the destruction of the small plane is. Little more than a couple wheels, the nose, and a piece of wing. That is all that was not consumed in the explosion and fire. The plane was obviously in trouble when it passed dangerously low over a busy construction site just off 271. I heard the boss yell, look out. I turned around and wondered what he was jumping around for. He's jumping back and forth, and then I seen through the window this plane coming in. And I thought I was going to come and hit the building. But... The plane circled once over 271 looking for a place to land. As it headed back southward, it ran out of altitude and hit the guardrail. Chester Township Police Dispatcher Tom Abbott saw it all happen and ran to assist the injured pilot, 44-year-old Gary Audet. You saw him go down? Yeah, I saw him go down. Um, the plane flipped a little bit. A uh, little bit of fire, but he got out. He, uh, at that point, was dazed, and I went over, got as close as I could. I screamed to him. He came towards me. Um, I dragged him. That's all I, all I could think of doing at the time. I, I, was he hurt? Was he on yeah, fire? Yeah, he was on fire. His legs were on fire at the time that he got out of the plane. It was just this weekend that another small plane tried an emergency landing on 271, just a few miles south of here in Orange Village. Fortunately, in that case, the pilot was successful, and the plane landed in the median. No one was injured in that landing. The pilot involved in today's crash, 44-year-old Gary Audette, was from Vermont. He had taken off from the Portage County Airport and was headed for the Cuyahoga County Airport about uh, three and a half miles northwest of here in Richmond Heights. Witnesses say they did not hear uh, the engine of his plane running. The FAA has been on the scene. So far, they have not officially determined what caused the crash about three hours ago here on 271 in Beechwood. New Center 8's Lori Taylor has been uh, following the fortunes of the pilot who was critically burned. And Lori joins us now from the newsroom with an update on his condition. Lori. Dick Audit was life flighted to Metro Health Medical Center. The life flight helicopter that responded to the accident was on its way back from Akron. When the flight crew got the call, it only took them about six minutes to get to the victim. What they found when they arrived was a very lucky man. Well, when we landed, there was basically all we could see was ashes from the plane. I guess it had burned down to complete ashes. Uh, nothing was really recognizable from the plane. And we had a 44-year-old uh, gentleman uh, who sustained uh, approximately 50% burns to his body. Although Audit was in critical condition, he was awake, alert, and able to talk with medical personnel. Miraculously, he had no other injuries, no broken bones, and his airway was open. Audit was given oxygen and something for his pain. It took only four or five minutes to load him up and another four minutes in the air before he was landing at Metro Health. A team of doctors, nurses and technicians were standing by in one of the hospital's trauma suites. What they found were second and third degree burns to Audit's face, hands, arms and legs. Extremely lucky. I mean, there was ashes. There was nothing recognizable on the plane that we could see from the air. 
As we said earlier, Audit was awake and alert, but he apparently spoke to the flight crew only of his pain. We've not yet been able to learn exactly what happened to cause him to crash. We will have, uh, if we have any further updates, we'll rejoin you from the newsroom. Tim and Robin.